Hey guys, so I decided that I am going to vlog a little bit of my day today. So today's actually pretty exciting because I have a 40% off shoes coupon to my favorite Savers thrift store in my area, which you guys know is like my main honey hole spot. I do go to other, I do source at other places as well, but that's just like my favorite thrift store. And I have a 40% off all shoes coupon that starts today. And it's only good for about four or five days. And I think you can use it up to three times. So I might actually try to go back multiple times this week because you guys know shoes obviously are my jam, favorite thing to sell. And um, I wanna take full advantage of this coupon, but it is about nine o'clock in the morning and the thrift store doesn't open till 11. So right now I'm just going to pack up some more of my shipping. So I thought I would kind of show you guys that process a little bit. I did go ahead and pack most of my shipping up last night. I think I had about 13 items that I packed up last night, but throughout the night and then early this morning, I made five more sales, which is great. Um, so I am going to be pulling those items now. I'm in my garage. This is where I keep my inventory. I have like my bins on this side of me. It is a mess, you guys. This is my little section though, this side of the garage. So I have my bins where I keep my clothing and then I have my shelving units over here where I keep all of my shoes. So yeah, I'm gonna pull these items real quick and get them packaged. Okay, so I keep all of my clothing in these bins and I just have them labeled numbers one through 10. That's just super simple and easy for me. Um, and then I do, I am purchasing another shelving unit that I'm actually gonna put along here. So this is gonna look a little bit better once I get that done because I am running out of room to store my shoes. So I do have some shoes here. You can see this whole side is full. Those are my, I have shoes over there and then I have some hard goods, obviously stacked full just way too much stuff so i am getting another shelving unit but currently all of my clothing goes in these bins three of the items that i need to pull right now are clothing and then um the first one is actually in bin number five which is this bin here so i'm gonna go ahead and pull it out okay so here's the first item that sold i'm sorry for the lighting in here i had to shut the garage door because it is actually raining today in southern california so um, it was like splashing in here and so I shut the door, but, um, this is a pair of John Galt jeans. I shared these in one of my hauls. It's like a Brandy Melville brand. And these actually sold this morning for full price, which was $40 on Poshmark. Okay. So the next two things that sold were actually in the same bin. So that's really helpful. Um, this here, and I'll put a picture of these on the screen, you guys, so you can see them better, but this is a wild box, like a uh, sweatshirt and that sold for $35. And then this is an anthropology dress. It's by the sub brand Anthropology Mave. Really, really pretty dress. This is actually a size double zero, so it is a smaller size. But like I said, you guys, dresses are starting to sell for me, so definitely get them listed. This one sold this morning for $40 on Poshmark. Okay guys, sorry again for the lighting, but I have the two pairs of shoes that I sold last night. So I sold five items overnight. Um, three of them are clothing, two of them are shoes. So I just grabbed the two pairs of shoes. I store all of my shoes by size. So, um, when, if I write down what size it is, then I know like what section it's at. And then it's really easy for me to find them. The first one, let me go ahead and flip the camera around. Okay. So this one here is a pair of National Geographic Vans. These are really cool. Let me go ahead and show you guys what these look like. They're really neat looking. Look at how stinking cute these are. They have all the little like, wild animals all over them. These have been a super hot seller for me. Um, but yeah, so I pre-box all my shoes, so it's super easy for me to package them. I just have to close them up, stick the label on them. And then this is a pair of Diane Von Furstenberg, so DVF. They're like a black suede pumps in a size eight. I just write right on the box. I do give my items inventory numbers, but that is not how I find them in my shelving unit because like I said, you guys, I sort everything by size and not by inventory number. That's just how I keep track of them on my spreadsheets. But yeah, so these uh, DBF pumps, they sold for $45 on Poshmark. 
And these here actually sold on Facebook Marketplace last night for $55, which was my full asking price. Okay, so I am going to make a run for it in the rain. Looks like it's kind of died down a little bit and head back upstairs so I can put the labels on these. Okay, so I am in line at the thrift store. It is still raining and I did not come prepared, but I will have a little mini haul for you guys right after this to show you some of the shoes that I picked up. Hey guys, so I am in my apartment. I ended up getting three big Ikea bags full of shoes. I went three different days. The first two days were great. The last day I went, I actually only found two pairs of shoes, but I kind of figured that would happen. They weren't restocking a whole lot, so either way, it was great. Some of the pairs already sold. I had a few of them that were that I listed right away. They already sold, so I won't be able to show them to you guys. However, these pairs here that you guys can see on my floor are all of the ones that I have cleaned and listed so far and still have. Um, I wanted to just do a quick haul to show you guys these shoes. I'm just going to run through them really quick, just kind of point out the brand and everything. If you want to know the size, I'm not going to take the time to like look at the size on each one. All of these are already listed in my Poshmark closet, which will be linked down in this description box down below. So you can definitely go check that out. Um, but I need to get these in a video so that I can package them away put them down in my garage because I need to clean another bag full. I still have two bags full that I need to process. So let me go ahead and show you guys these so I can put them away. And I'll, I will try to show you guys some of the other shoes. Maybe I'll try to sprinkle them in some of my upcoming thrift hauls. But yeah, so let's get started. You guys know I love my Merrells. These are just a pair of Merrells like hiking shoes. They have the Vibram soles, which is a great keyword and definitely something to look for. I think these are a men's pair if I'm, if I remember correctly. Um, this is a pair. Oh, you guys aren't going to be able to see it. Let's see. This is a pair that I don't pick up a ton anymore, but I did want to grab these shoes. This is White House Black Market size seven, and they're a really pretty like velvet floral, black booty super super cute this is a new to me brand it's called bangs really really cute they kind of look like a converse shoe but i love this like dusty rose color and these are in amazing condition so definitely trying out this brand for the first time here's a pair of adidas they're like the nmd sneakers i'm not sure the full name of them there but in a really cool black and neon colorway we have some Sauconies. i think i mispronounced it, this in one of my past videos and you guys let me know a few of you guys let me know it's pronounced Saucony. these are the excursion tr9 sneakers black and pink really awesome tread i think these would be a good like trail sneaker then we have some converse these are the jack Purcell Converse in like a like uh, camel colored leather. Really, really good condition. Really, oh my gosh, I can't talk. Sorry, guys. Really good condition. You can see it says Converse Jack Purcell. And then some Nikes. Nike running sneakers. Really cute. Some more Nikes. I think these are the FS Light Run 3s in this orange and gray colorway. We have some Vans, old school, black with the gum sole. These are Fabletic shoes. I've never picked up Fabletic shoes before, but these ones, they were in such good condition. I decided to go ahead and try them out. Again, everything was 40% off. I think I ended up getting all of these shoes for between like five and $7 a piece, which is awesome. Here's some more Nikes. We have some Nike Pegasus here. Really good. I think these are the Pegasus, right? Yeah, Pegasus 32. Really good running shoe. Some Brooks. I love selling Brooks. Really nice colorway. Some Nike Renews. Slip-on style. 
Those are actually a women's size 12. I remember that because I thought they were a men's when I picked them up, but they are a women's size 12. Another pair of Merrells. You guys know I love my Merrells. These are a great like hiking shoe, really good tread. Okay, let me move up here. We have some more Adidas, some Toms. Toms don't sell for a ton of money, but they usually sell around like the $20, $25 range for me. This is another new to me brand. It's called Wanda Panda or Wanda Panda. I don't know. Um, size 40, really cute, like wedge sandal. Some more Toms. Ooh, some Hoka's. Okay, this is one of my favorite brands, you guys. I'm gonna come around the backside here. One of my favorite brands to pick up. These always sell so quickly. Such a good shoe. I find these trashed all the time. So anytime I can find them in good condition, I scoop them up. These ones, amazing condition. Lots of tread left. The only downside is they are missing the insoles, which I usually pass on shoes when they're missing the insoles, but not these ones. These ones, I still think they will sell. I will just note that they're missing the original insoles, but other than that, still in really good condition. Had to grab those. Okay, moving on to the last row here. Hopefully I'm not making you guys dizzy. This is a pair of Sanook boots. I've never seen like the tall version of the Sanook, so I thought these were really cool. They're in like an olive green color. We have some New Balance, which actually New Balance sell pretty decently for me. These ones are in amazing condition. They actually look like they've never been worn. Um, let's see, another pair of Merrells, some good hiking boots here. Love me some Merrells. These I just thought were so cute, I could not leave them behind. They're Bob's from Skechers. They have the memory foam, memory foam insoles, but look at how stinking cute. They have the little grumpy cat, which I believe he did unfortunately pass away, but really, really cute um, pattern on those. And then the last pair of shoes are these little toddler size Toms. Um, which I do pick up kids' shoes occasionally. They're usually pretty cheap at my thrift stores. So that is it for my quick little haul today. I have a ton of inventory, a ton of shoes. I picked up some clothing and accessories as well. Just a ton of stuff that I need to process. So hopefully I will have some more haul videos coming up soon. I've also been filming myself cleaning some of these shoes. So I will have a shoe cleaning video coming out. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Make sure that you subscribe down below, hit the little bell notification so you don't miss those videos coming up. Um, yeah, guys. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know it's a little bit of a different style video than my normal but um, I just wanted to film something really quick tonight and put it up for you guys to see just so that I can get these shoes processed and put away down in my garage. So hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.